hello in this tutorial we will run how to use corrective maintenance in asset management module of dynamics 365 supply chain management basically current corrective maintenance is of an asset normal language we can call it as a unplanned maintenance which could cause due to fault management like you have any faults you could have some accidental issues or you could have any other uh, problem which occurred suddenly in your car maybe for the temperature suddenly increased the tire got leaked due to when you are running in the road so so that is in a nutshell in common way the corrective maintenance so for this demo we're gonna use a process flow to see that how it can be done in dynamics 365 supply chain management so what it the source is started from creating a main maintenance request which is basically a person going to create a maintenance request and then define what sort of fault he is finding and if any downtime required he can put the downtime then the maintenance requests if it is real real fault then it gonna be convert to a work order then work order as it is for our previous demo it gonna be estimated and if there is a stock needed we can put that and then it's gonna be scheduled immediate basis it will release and it will go to the in progress if any checklist is there to be complete we can complete it we'll register our consumption through mobile devices then we'll finish the work order and then automatically the maintenance request going to be completed in the system so let's go to the demo in the system to see how it can be work so this is dynamics 365 we are uh, in the asset maintenance module you can see the asset maintenance request here you can go to the all maintenance request you can create a new maintenance request and you can choose what type of request is it is it a corrective breakdown or safety request or something you can choose your own and i can say that will has been jumped then I choose what is my asset. I'm gonna put my asset start with K, Humby. <clears throat> Sorry. This, okay. There is a fault system. There is an air leak or jam. Is it a mechanical issue? And all this information going to be here. Depending on your setup, you could set up many type of fault type areas and all this. These are very common things you can put. And you put a note my front will are jammed okay fine so you create it and you inform already and now you're gonna deliver the asset for the maintenance in the workshop right first of all the workshop person will access these things and he will say that yeah fine uh you, you you need to receive the asset you need to verify the assets and you need to uh, first check the asset so first somebody has to go down and see the problem and once you see the problem somebody has to come to the system say asset verified which has been done it, the user who is going to update it then you say that what type of maintenance it is a repair needed and what type of variant it is and you can put it uh, this is operator and and you can put a note here and you can say that uh, will our jam need to open the wheels right then he go and change the status receipt so it is already received now we decided it has to be managed by a particular group of the people and i know who is responsible i'm putting in my name and then we're going to convert this one as in work order we have an estimate and we know that these things needs to be done like that and you can say that expected end should be today and you say that it might take four hours and say uh, 22 pm which is 10 pm 
create it so definitely there would be a work order gonna be created here so we can see the work order over here here is the work order and <clears throat> from here the work order basically you can see this work order estimated any forecast is linked it's gonna be linked over here if you think anything needed you haven't you haven't opened that one you know that there are certain things going to be there so you're gonna consuming accordingly whenever you need right mm, the process and there is any uh, checklist or there you have to uh, fill it up there's nothing so I say that okay fine let's uh, go and schedule this work order immediate basis mm, let's do that it is got uh, allocated right because there is a one hour needed so that's what it is coming here and now um, I'm gonna dispatch this job to mr. Paul mr. Paul gonna see that one and he say that uh, that's fine schedule work order work order got scheduled and now I'm going to release this work order for the processes I say go and in process that. so now the user will have <clears throat> so now our work order has been in progress so we have allocated these things to the banker so let's go and check Mr. Dipankar mobile devices how it is look like. So we are in the mobile device menu. So I'm going to show it to you how does it look like. You can find your job in your calendar. Also you can find your your mint your current job list work order list. You can see this is the one currently which is K001. You can find out this one which is already planned for you and it is telling you a schedule start date or anything if you have any attachment you're gonna get that so what I'm going to do actually I, I complete that things and I, I say that okay hey you know <clears throat> I, 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 I consume uh, how many hours so let's put it I consume three hours for that three hours line property level resource I put my any resources whoever is available right. the person has worked I just wanted to capture his cost <laughs> and similarly we have used some grease or something some material and we're gonna apply that one and I just put my times there and if I need some downtime or any informations to be add in over there you can also have mm, that detail over here so you can say that notes under the notes we can put my put my comment over here edit don't have agrees okay, right. so let's sing that back to our things which is done and this is how you can access through your mobile menus and all these informations right and you finish it out your jobs and you inform your uh, leads and you also told him that uh, this is the item you had took it so you have added those item search so, zero one I say this is taken from this 11 warehouse and this is two pieces we took it right and also there are some expenses made for that and the person is going to have that expenses cost so you say that 750 dollar right, complete it and then 
your job is done everything good and if you have any notes you can capture everything and now you can put your asset for you have you have completed your jobs and you know that what was the symptom what was the symptom was there because I say that it is malfunctions and let's say you have remedies for what remedies you did I say that object has been repaired right so you can create n number of uh, causes and the things linked to your uh, required asset group uh, it's from your learning keep on adding those faults right it is done completed and now uh, once it is done so I am going to change the status and I say that completed it will auto post my journal already the project transaction got posted here you can see the project transaction whatever the transaction we took it and on other sides you can see that your cost control your hour control your work order reports and everything right and from there we're gonna complete that one finished so now the moment I finished it automatically the status going to be changed to the work order as the maintenance request as complete so go to the maintenance request let's refresh that one so this is the corrective maintenance and you can see that it has been completed here right so this is how the entire corrective maintenance in a happy path you can complete that one and by which uh, a asset can be maintained any request can be done and there are some you can also use workspace to create all this thing it's more easy you can add your all the links and I hope this tutorial gonna help you out that how uh, this particular uh, demo uh to use the asset maintenance module to do a corrective maintenance thank you very much for your 